everyone welcome to an academy this is riya agarwal and today we are going to start a new course on bar charts where today we are going to see the introduction part including all the theoretical aspects and an example also you can download the an academy learning app from play store or app store and follow me there to find my other courses as well apart from that you can rate review and share the video with your friends please do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel so let us begin with our course on data interpretation based on bar charts and today we are going to see the introduction here is a little about me section i am an electronics and communication engineer and i have scored 98.29 percentile in di and lr section of cat contribution of this topic as we know di and lr section comprises of 32 questions of which 16 are from di and 16 from lr of these 16 questions in di the questions are divided in four sets where every set has four questions each and one of this set may be based on bar charts so we can say if we are thoroughly prepared with this topic we may end up scoring 100% in the 25% part of di this analysis is based on previous year papers what is data interpretation data interpretation is all about data and if we look at our life scientifically we can say that our life is all about data in our day to day life from sales report to trends to budget planning to almost every single operation some or the other calculation is required and in this section we are going to explore this calculations the basic idea behind this section is to test the student's ability to make decisions and how he can establish the recourse in different situation also each sets of question will consist of multiple conditions which are to be used as clues to solve the questions given Structure of questions may be as tables, bar charts, xy charts, pie charts, cases representing data. Of which pie charts we have already seen in detail in the previous course. In this course we are going to see bar charts in detail. So let us begin. What are bar charts? Bar diagrams are visual diagrams which presents statistical data. A bar chart consists of bars where each is represented by a thick box and the height of the box gives us the value of the bar. And very often they may be represented in different colors, shades, dots and dashes and in some other fashion just to indicate different continuous variables being represented. As we can see here some of the examples this is known as a simple bar chart where just single bars are indicated. In this you can see there are two bars indicating two different variables while in this there are three. So there can be this, this two are comes in multiple bar charts so there can be even four or five or as many as required to represent the data the key skills involved to solve this kind of questions are we need to read the given bar charts very closely and carefully we should never over approximate any value just to simplify our task we should not assume any kind of information and just stick to the information given in the question also note that data interpretation is all about arithmetic and calculation speed and if you focus and practice you can master it example the bar graph given here shows the number of tickets sold by six students a b c d e and f during a fair observe the graph and answer the questions based on it okay so as we can see here we have a bar graph where on y axis we have the number of tickets sold by the students and on x axis we have the students a to f so we can see A have sold 16 tickets, B 8, C 20, D 7, E 24 and F 14. So we can easily have, we easily have the complete information with us. We should now proceed with the question and solve them. Question 1. Total number of tickets sold by A, B and C is, okay, so as we can see from the graph, A is 16 tickets, B is 8 and C is 20. All we have to do is just add up these numbers to get the total number of tickets sold by ABC. So here 16 plus 8 plus 20 we get 44 which is our option number 2. Next question. The least number of tickets were sold by. Again we look up to the graph and here we can see the least number we can see is 7 which belongs to D. So D was the student who sold only 7 tickets which is the least number of tickets. So our answer is 4 option D. Question 3. Total number of tickets sold by D, E and F is. D has 7 tickets, E 24 and F 14. 
so similarly as the first question we need to just add up this numbers to get the total number of tickets sold by d e and f so here we have added up 7 12 7 24 and 14 to get 45 which is option 3 now we'll move on to one more example quickly example 2 directions for the question refer the following bar chart and answer the question okay so what is it the bar chart represents project exports contracts secured okay so the value is in crore and it is for some company where the number of pro these are the number of projects exports for exports where the contracts have been secured and these are the uh, years on in which the different contracts were secured so these values are in crores i'll proceed with the question what is the average value of the contract secured during the years shown in the diagram okay so we need to find out the average values for all the years shown in the diagram 1984 to 1988 so all we have to do is to find the average we have to add up all these values and divide it by number of years that is 5 years okay so here it is we add up 100.5 plus 67 plus 141 plus 143.9 plus 65 and divide this total value by 5 to get our average answer that is 103.48 crores so our correct option is option a next question compared to the performance in 1985 taking it as the base what can you say about the performance in the year 84 85 86 87 and 88 respectively in percentage term okay so since this is our base value now in 1985 we have to compare other values with 1985 so let us take this as 100% so we see in three options we have 100% for 1985 so and this option doesn't have it so b is already the incorrect option so we are left with three options for now let us check further if you can see in year 1988 it is the only year where the value is lesser than the year 1985 so i can check from that so the value for 1988 should be less than 100 percent and it should be the only year where the value is less than 100 percent so if i see in option option c it is same as 100 percent so even option c is incorrect I'm left with two options a and d so in d i have 97 percent for 1988 year and 68 percent in option d but i see that the difference is only of two units so it can't be a large difference which is here in 68 so our option a is correct since it has only a small option uh, small change that is 97 percent only a change of three percent which is possible so our correct answer is option a question three which is the year in which the highest percentage decline is seen in the value of contract secured compared to the preceding year okay we should check only with the preceding year so we should check this with the 9, 1990, 1985 to with 1984 1986 with 1985 and so on and we should find out which was the highest percentage decline so if we can see from the figure the highest percentage decrease was in the year 1988 since it declined from 143.9 to 65 so our correct option is 1988 option b Thank you very much. If you understand my approach, please rate, review and share the video and all the best for your endeavor.